Hi, this video is for level 3.5 or higher. This is rotation one for our 6.2 system. So I'm gonna go briefly over uh, what you should be doing on the court and where you should be for our rotation one. Uh, I'm gonna go and make multiple videos. So this is rotation one. There'll be more videos to come. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so rotation one, basically we are looking at this kind of a System. So what we have here is um, when we're looking at rotation one, okay, um, what I want you to look at is where you're positioned. So if you're a setter, this is where you start when you get on the court. If you're middle back, this is where you start. Outside hitter, right side hitter, which is the same thing as the setter, which will be our other setter, other middle blocker. Now, Middle back and middle blocker are usually both just middle blockers. So I may flip the term around sometimes in the back row and call them a middle back, but they are actually the middle blocker. And then the outside hitter. Notice they're always across from each other. That's the way when you get on the court, you will always start. So it doesn't matter if you start in rotation one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll always be across from a person who plays the same position as you. Okay, so we've got that. All right. Next thing you guys need to know is libero. So before the game start, there's going to be a substitution. So before the ref blows the whistle, uh, you need to make a sub, which is our libero. So our libero is basically going to sub in for that middle blocker that's in the back row. So they're going to come in from here. Now, when I say here, let me be specific. This is the attack line. The barrels come from behind the attack line. They're going to come into the court, and then the middle back or the middle blocker is going to leave. Okay? If you do a normal substitution for any other position, uh, whether it be front row or back row, you're going to do it here in the front, in front of the attack line. So right next to the attack line is where you're going to do it. For normal substitutions, Again, this is for our Club VIP League. This may not apply to your league. Just make sure you understand the rules for your own league. All right, so we're done there. Let's go to the next part. So what I want to do is go over the cycle. There are two ways to start the game. So one way is serve, receive. So on this one here, you are basically looking at serve, receive is the first stage of the cycle offense base and defense so let's go through the cycle all right we get on our court okay we're going to do serve receive so that means we're receiving a serve from our opponent from the other side of the court so we get into serve receive now look at your position and when i click the button over here on this uh, ipad it's going to switch the players around Follow where you're supposed to go. Okay? So if you look at it, um, I'm going to make a few notes here just to let you know what's going on. Okay? This player here and this player here, this player here, we always have three people in the back row for service receive. We never have two, never have one, always three. Now, what we did was we took our setter, was originally here and we moved them up so they're not part of service receive. Why? Because we want them to go here and set. We want our setter to always get the second ball. Now we've got our one, two, three service receive players. What we needed to do was we needed to pull this right side, the RS, back here to give us our third serve receive passer so that's how we get our three okay now our outside hitter has to stay in front of the setter because if they cross it's called an ov overlap and in volleyball that's going to be a point for the other side and they're going to get the ball so you're not allowed to overlap people in front of you behind you or next to you directly next to you directly behind you directly in front of you okay and if you do that before the ball is put in play, then it's uh, uh, you're breaking the overlap rules. Now, 
you can move anywhere on the court once the ball's been played. So we line up like this, and the other team hasn't served yet. So what is this? This is basically how we're going to be on the court. So let me be very clear. Okay, from the very top, this is us getting on the court. Okay, has the ball been served? No. This is us getting in serve receive. Okay, has the ball been served? No. Okay, once the ball gets served, that's when the game starts and that's when players can move. Okay, what's going to happen is ball is going to come onto our side and then one of our three passers will pass the ball and redirect it to our setter who's going to come up here. So as soon as the ball is served, our setter goes to the net, gets ready, and then our three passers will send that ball to that person. Okay. Then once that ball has been sent to the person, we go into offense. So serve receive. Okay. We just finished that part of the cycle. Now we're going to go to offense. Okay, so offense. Now, what does offense look like? Looks like this. So our right side hitter here is getting ready to hit an outside ball, and our outside hitter is going to be hitting a right side ball. So notice that they're in opposite positions. The reason why they're there is because when we receive a ball, we have to play it from where we are first. And once we send the ball over to the other side and they're dealing with it, we have time to make our switches and get into the correct position. Okay. What will be the correct position? So let's go ahead and see. So let's say we've hit the ball and we've sent the ball over to the other side. Okay. So what will be the correct position? So once we have attacked the ball, our middle is going to go to the middle, of course. Setter is going to come back over here. Outside is going to go all the way over here. Right side is going to go over here. Okay. And then now we'll see if you can see this. We've got our outsides lined up. Okay. Our middles lined up. And our setters lined up. Uh, so let me clean that up a little bit because that looks weird. It's not very well lined up. That's better. There we go. So that's a little closer to what it would look like. Okay. So now we have now gotten to that next part. Okay. So we just hit the ball over. So we've taken care of offense. What's next? Base. Now you're looking at base. Base is basically us waiting for the other team to play the ball out. So we haven't yet gotten to defense mainly because of the fact that we don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to pass the ball over? Are they going to hit it? They're going to hit it. Where are they going to hit it from? From the outside, the middle, the opposite, where? Okay, so this is like a holding pattern for us. We get into this position, and then we wait to see what they're going to do with the ball and who's going to hit it. Okay, so now uh, once we have done this, okay, we're waiting, and what we're going to do is get ready to go into defense. Okay, so this is base. Now remember, whenever you get into base, this is what it has to look like. Okay, and what I mean by that is, okay, setters and right sides or other setters have to be lined up. Middles, outsides, that's base. Okay, these guys have to be like about, what they normally say is, I like to go three, by three okay three by three and this one should be three feet from the back line so this one over here will be three feet from the back line which is this line right here okay and then this person will be arms distance from an antenna that's on the net here so this person will be arms distance from that antenna this person arms distance from an antenna that's on the net here and the middle will be obviously right in the middle Okay, so we got that. So now that we have done that, okay, we've covered base. What's left? Defense. Okay, so now let's look at defense, the rotation one. Okay, so 
What does defense look like? Well, let's look at what defense would look like if they're attacking the ball from the middle here. That's how we would line up. So we can have three blockers lined up with them, or we could have a different kind of setup. The way I like to do it is I would like to have this person here. Okay. So if the ball gets ricocheted off the hand, this person can pick it up. And this person right here. So if the ball ricochets, they can get it. Okay. So basically for us, okay, middle blocking defense is basically going to have our hitters, front row hitters, other than the middle, just dropping back. Okay, and covering that block. Basically, if that ball bounces this way or this way, those two guys will get it. Okay, so that's our middle block defense. Okay, now let's look at what if it's hit from a different position. So let's say the ball is hit over here. This is what we're going to look like. We have two blockers, so I want you guys to notice that. We have our outside and our middle together blocking. And then our right side is basically getting ready for any ball that bounces off their hands into the court on the side. Okay, so if the ball goes over them, this person will get it, the outside. Okay, if it goes here or here, okay, this person will, you see who's getting it, okay? And that's the way it should work. So now that is if the ball's on the left side. Now what if it's on uh, sorry, it's on that side. Now let's move the ball to this side. Okay, so if you're on the court, this one is the left side blocking. Now we're going to go to the right side blocking. Okay, so basically it's kind of the same. The only difference is, is that now the middle and the right side, they're together. Okay, and then the outside is basically covering. Now, uh, and then these guys are just covering anything that gets past them. Now, one thing I will say for my team, I would prefer this outside to be a little deeper back. I don't really want them that close. Okay. So on the on the same thing on this side here, I don't really want them that close. So I would like to keep them a little deeper back. So keep that in mind. All right. So let's go ahead and look at so that's defense. So again, this is middle. The ball's in the middle. Left side. Right side. Okay. Look at your position and see where you would normally go. Okay. So now we have covered defense. Okay. So that's the cycle for when we're serving. Okay. After defense, if we win the rally, we go to service again. Uh, sorry, we go to service. If we win the rally, we go to service. <laughs> if we lose, we go to serve receive again. Okay. So if we win the rally, we go to service here. And if we lose the rally, we go back to serve receive and follow the cycle one more time. Okay. So now let's talk about the cycle if we're serving. All right. So let's go ahead and look at this. So now let's go back home. Now we're going to be looking at service. So now when we're serving, this is rotation one. Okay. Now I want you guys to look at back row. So back row, we have our center back here serving, middle back here, outside. Now remember when we did base, we had our outside up here and our middle back here and the right side was here. Okay. So sorry, right. Okay, now what's going to happen here is we're going to be doing what's called making switches. Okay, so this happens in volleyball. So what's going to happen is we're going to be making a switch. So what's going to happen is this right when we send this ball over the net as the ball is traveling, this person's going to come to this side, this person's going to come to this side. Okay, so that's service. So that's service in our cycle. So what I want to do is I want to show you what the next stage is. Okay, so we have service. We just completed that. So what's next? Base in the cycle. Okay. So this is base. So 
What does base look like? Well, once we've made the switches here and here, okay, and then here, that's what base looks like. Okay, so we've got base. So now base is that holding pattern. We've sent the ball over the net. Now we're waiting for the other team to play it out. And then we want to see how they send it over until we know how they're going to send it over. We get into base. The best way to think about base is basically we're spreading ourselves out, getting ready for any type of ball. And this position makes it as efficient as possible to get to uh, spots on the court to pick up the ball. That's kind of what it does. Okay. So now what do we go to from base? So after base, next is defense. So the other team is now ready to attack the ball or pass the ball over the net. So we're now going to get to defense. So what does that look like? Okay. So again, if it's from the middle, ball's in the middle, that's what we're looking at. Okay. So, and if it's from the left side, from the right side, Okay, so the left side and right side just kind of repeat over and over. That's kind of the way they are. So just remember what your position is, okay? And then you'll know. So middle, so someone's attacking the ball from the middle here, okay? Someone's attacking the ball from the left side. Someone's attacking the ball from the right side. So that's defense, okay? That means someone's attacking that ball. So if that ball gets past us, then we have to pass it. Okay, so the ball gets past our blocker and gets onto our side of the court, then defense is over. Okay, what do we have to do? We have to set up our offense. So that's the next thing. So now if the ball is on our side, got it? Now we're going to go ahead and go to offense. So some the ball is going to come back here. Somebody's going to pass it, and then we get ready to hit. Okay? Now, since we've already switched into base, that means the truth is that this person is over here and this person is over here. Okay? So, because we did base, all of that has already happened. We've already made our switches. So, the right side is on the right side and the outside is the outside. Okay? So, now because of that, okay, offense is done. So we're setting up for offense. Now we're just going to attack that ball. So one of these players is going to hit it. Let's say our outside hits it. Ball over. Okay. What do we do next? After we hit the ball over or send the ball over, our time for off offense is over. Base. Okay. So now we do base. And what does base look like? Oh, just this again. So setters together, middles together, outsides together. Okay. Now, now that we've completed base, okay, that all now depends on what's going to happen next. So once we've completed, so we've hit the ball over, we're in base, we're waiting for the other team to play out the ball. If they don't, we get the point. If they do, then we continue the cycle, okay? So it goes to base. If the other team does, decides to attack, then we go to defense, okay? Defense, we try to block the ball, keep it from coming onto our court. If it does, then we get the ball, pass it, go to offense, okay? And then we hit the ball, hopefully, get it over the net, and then we go to base, okay? So the cycle is pretty complicated, but once you get the idea of it, it becomes a lot easier. So this is rotation one, and this is the cycle for serve, receive, and for service. Hopefully this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to your coach and ask them. They will help you more with uh, the finer points of this. Thank you. Have a great day.